Okay, my friends. No, you don't have to turn that off, babe. Um, Grant and I were gone for quite a while, and he just picked up our mail from the um, postal place where we get it. And I'm going to unbox this knitting machine. It's the Addy Express King Size Knitting Machine, and it makes hats. I mean, it makes lots of stuff, but basically, it's designed to make hats. Now, those of you who have been with me for a long time, you know that I, I love to make hats, especially around Christmas time. Um, and doing something like, uh, using a device like this cuts my time down just unbelievably. So, we're going to take a look at this. I've got, this, this is probably, these are stoppers, and they probably have to do with when you're just want to knit a panel instead of a hat in the round. That's my guess. Um, here are some little um, teeth or whatever these are called. These are probably extras. Then, okay, this is for clamping it to a table bits and pieces okay so here's the main here's the main unit right here okay of course the cat had to come check it out she needs to inspect everything new that comes in the house okay so basically any of you who've used a a, um, a knitting machine before this is going to look familiar for those of you that don't what you do is you wind your um, yarn in and out of these little hooks okay and then when you've got your yarn wound around to the first time to the first yarn you know we're back where you started there we go so that's how that works you turn this and the machine will knit um, knit in the round I'm really, really excited about this thing. I thought it was made primarily of metal. I was wrong. This is all plastic, which is a bummer. But, um, but it's, uh, you know, it's got great reviews. And apparently you can make a hat in about half an hour. So, it also comes with this, um, manual that is going to teach me how to use it okay well i just wanted to show you this thing i'll probably um i will probably do another video actually showing you how it's used after i've made a couple of hats so you can see how this thing actually functions another thing i got in the mail um was this book my doctor suggested that i buy this and read it I don't tend to put much stock in books like this. However, she said that this guy's got a lot on the ball and that um, that this book has been really helpful to um, her patients, her diabetic patients. So I am going to read this and see what this has to say that might be able to help me. All right. So that's about all I wanted to, I'm going to turn this around. That's about all I wanted to say. Uh, just a little quickie video just to say hi and let you guys know that I'm, I haven't, uh, I haven't had the chance to put together a lot of my trip video, which I will be doing. But in the meantime, I just wanted to, I just wanted to show you this really neat thing that I got. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, this thing is working beautifully. You just twist that and feed your, your yarn in. I should be actually feeding my yarn with the hand that's holding my camera. And um, it just works beautifully. I ended up making three hats so far today. This one's green and purple.
This one is citrus colors, mostly yellow and orange. This one is kind of ocean colors, green and blue. And I'm using these uh, Karen Cakes, um, this Karen Cakes yarn that is, uh, it's self-striping so you don't have to change, um, you know, you don't have to change skeins or yarns to get the striped thing. Now these are, there's, this is just the base of the hat. The hat still needs to be stretched into shape and steamed or blocked. And then I'll do the embellishments. I'm thinking about doing a, a crocheted edge and then some flowers or, you know, different things to embellish these hats with. So this is, a, boy, this is a fun thing. This is a good way for me to get back into crafting. Um, it's easy. And I feel like I'm, you know, I feel like I'm being productive. And Mia agrees. She says she loves the sound of it. So she sleeps up here on the table when I'm working on the hats. Bye. Well, you guys, it's uh, needless to say I'm hooked. <laughs> Get it? Hooked? Knitting? Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. Um, I love this one because it's like inside out contrast. I've just been making these hats like crazy. They're double um, thickness, so they're going to be warm. Doing them in all different kinds and colors. Um, basically, this is a unisex size, men and women. So I've got those finished. I'm working on this color here, this kind of salmon-y orange. Then I've got um, this wonderful teal here and the purple I've got a like a camo I'll probably make that for, one for Grant and then I have this wonderful mermaidy ocean blend and just a nice gray and when you look over there since your screen you see a huge box of yarn so I'm just I'm just going to town I'm gonna to make up a bunch of blanks and then I will get to the embellishment part. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. I love to crochet flowers and, you know, little patches and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably do some felt flowers, just different, different kinds of embellishments that I'm going to put on these hats. So, yeah, I'm, I'm real excited about this. I've also been thinking when I get the store open, I might leave this um, knitter out on a table with some yarn in it, just like you see here, and then a little sign uh, if you want to contribute to our hats um, for the homeless, uh, sit down and make a few turns on our little, uh, on our little knitting machine here. So I thought would, that would be a fun interactive thing to do at the store. So anyhow, I'm feeling upbeat and hopeful and excited about embarking on my new business venture. I'll keep you guys informed. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm about ready to put this hat project away, but I wanted to show you what I've done. Okay, so this is just an example of um, a striped hat. They, they're all... Um, double layer so they're very warm this one happens to have a contrasting interior it's kind of teal blue I just finished this one it's one of my favorites it's the camper hat so I made this little camper um, applique and put it on it's kind of oatmeal colored hat which I'm just really digging I think it's adorable and I made a bunch of hats with owls I love my owl hats. These little owls are so cute. I, you know, I came up with the owl motif. I looked at a bunch of Pinterest things and then I kind of made up my own pattern. This also has a contrasting interior. Here is a striped owl hat. I've made the striped ones. They all have kind of a contrasting interior. I made, I think, four of these. I love the, this one because it's so happy, such happy colors. I made one in a hot pink with purple. 
Then I also made a hat with a floral um, kind of decoration. I really like this one too. I love the colors in it. It's just so pretty. Um, you'll see that there are sequins and pearls and stuff. I always bling up everything. A lot of these sequins came from my dear friend Stephanie over at Steffi's Beads and Baubles. And she had she sent me a box of marvelous sequins back when I was I did a video saying that I had lost my sequins. I have since found them. Okay, here's my box of sequins. But I tore into all the stuff that she sent me and used a lot of them on these hats. So I did a couple of the snowflake hats like that. Then I did another snowflake hat in on a striped fabric, which I think is really pretty. And then lastly, I did a single snowflake motif on this stripe with a kind of a wide uh, flip up brim band part. And you can wear these just pull down low over your head or you can flip the cuffs back if you want to. So anyhow, what is it? How many have I made? I made three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, I've also been making the little motifs um, and setting them aside for other projects. So right now I'm working on, I think, five of the little owls. When I sew them on, I leave the owl feet free so they can flap around. I also left the... I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. I also left the, um, the tongue of the camper free as well. I like to leave one thing just hanging and, you know, just to be silly. So anyhow, this... This is the product of all my work this past couple of weeks um, since I got my knitting machine, which is sitting over there. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you what I've done before I put all this away and move back to felt ornaments. Talk to you guys later. Bye.